Can I interest you in a delicious celery supper? Yeah, that's not something you hear very often. But our next guest says it's an underappreciated plant and is unapologetic about this next recipe. Check it out. The author and YouTuber Carla Lolly Music, she stopped by to share a new cookbook she wrote called That Sounds So Good. And she showed me the recipe titled Sorry, I Like Celery. So I called it Sorry, I Like Celery because celery, it turns out, is an extremely divisive ingredient. People love it or hate it. Yeah, polarize, nothing in between. You're either into it or you like never want to see it again. <laughs> so luckily in my book, there's spinach for every single recipe. So if you don't like celery, you could use little gems or you could use fennel, whatever crunchy thing you want. But the jumping off point for me really was a Caesar salad. So it's just got all the flavors of a Caesar. Celery and Caesar dressing goes so well together. And it starts the way most Caesars start, which is with garlic and anchovy and um, some salt and pepper. Yeah. And I also have some Aleppo pepper, which is like a, a more mild chili flake. Uh, you could also just use a smaller quantity. And you also don't have to put the anchovy in. Like if you would rather use a dab of anchovy paste at the end, great. But if you'd rather throw a little Worc Worcester, Worcestershire sauce in at the end, that will give that same sort of salty like, okay. richness to it. So you, okay, I'm here for that. Yeah, it's like, it doesn't take very long. And then it's just sludge, very yeah. appealing and beautiful. But I've got equal parts of fresh lemon juice and which is about two ounces. It's like one whole lemon. Okay. Um, equal parts lemon juice and extra virgin olive oil. So Absolutely. I think the difference between this and an ordinary dressing is like, it's just uh, being equal parts is quite bright and right. acidic. And then I just finished the dressing in the same bowl. If you had used a mortar and pestle or fine chopped, you would just transfer and um, whisk this all together. Love it. So then <laughs> I have a whole bunch of celery. And one of the things I love about celery is it comes with its own herbs basically. So I'm using the outer stalks to slice and then saving the nice like little pale green inner leaves. I always which, feel like it's such a shame to throw them away. They're delicious and it's like the most mild sweetest part of the celery too like those inner leaves. I don't I don't really believe in buying the hearts because there's like so much waste there. And you get this oh. nice, like the dark green into the light green. And so there's more than one flavor to a whole stock of celery also. So I have those celery leaves and I have some um, tender parsley leaves with a little bit of stem, but I like using herbs like as a salad green, they have mm -hmm. so much flavor in there. So in the recipe, it says to cut the celery into very thin slices on a dramatic angle. Mm. And what I mean by that is I angle my blade oh. and go down this way. And then you have these like more like um, horseshoe shapes long and they're just a little bit more fun to eat. They're a little bit bigger. It just feels um, nicer. It fills up the bowl in a really nice way. I so love that's that. My, that's my dramatic very dramatic well, celery. It's very dramatic, that celery. <laughs> Once you get it all cut, you just throw it in the bowl together or? Yeah, exactly. So the other ingredients that I have here that kind of take it away from the Caesar are some spicy pickled peppers mm -hmm. and some green olives. And I like them for the richness, but also that brininess and it's more saltiness. And then I just pour the dressing over. I love it. Hey, Carla, what the... else is in the cookbook? <laughs> So the cookbook is divided between Monday through Thursday and Friday and the weekend. Oh. I really wanted the recipes to not be driven necessarily by a single ingredient, but more about like where you are in your life, where you are in the week, whether you yes. went to work that day or whether you had like a really lazy weekend afternoon, especially when we get into like this part of the winter, like mm -hmm. to me having you know, a big, beautiful braise, just like filling the house up with delicious aromas or making soup or a big pot of beans. And then in the summer, all of those weekend recipes are more about front loading the work so that if people are coming yeah. over in the afternoon, mm -hmm. you have something that marinated or something that had like dry spices on it or something that you cooked ahead and you're serving room temperature. You've inspired so many people to cook, including your own staff. What do you think Aww. about that? I think it's like amazing. I, um, I really love to cook because of what it creates in my life. It's like, 
even if you're just cooking for yourself, you're creating a moment of like mm -hmm. pleasure and enjoyment and indulgence and like a pause. Um, right now I have an 18 year old who's going to college next year. So we're like doubling down. I'm like, you need to, <laughs> you're going to get there and you're going to realize the food isn't very good. And like, you need to take care of yourself. But also if you're taking care of your friends and your roomies and you're, you know, you're, it, you'll be the center of like any social thing that's happening. So true. And you too can share the love of celery. We've got Carla's recipe on the New Day website. You're welcome.